showing up to some things and showing up to other things. He wants money. So is I think the, is that really the reason? That's what he claims the reasoning is. Yeah. I remember he came out to Six Frogs because he wanted to get better. Interesting. Like I know, but that was like the first time I've seen him at Six Frogs. He's like the uh, secret bio weapon of uh, NorCal or the <laughs> Bay Area at least. Like. <laughs> <laughs> the Bayo weapon? Anyway, no, yeah, he's not yeah. a Bayo. <laughs> he's not a Bayo. Uh, and it, wow, these guys are just like, actually just pounding he each other's shield. out. Yeah. So ordinarily, uh, Prodigy has the upper hand uh, pretty much against everyone in SAC uh, these days. He's kind of really hard to deal with as a player. Uh, I do know that Klaasu has taken sets off of him. Oh my goodness, he actually died from that down air. That's ridiculous. That was actually <laughs> how you, bogus. How are you supposed to know which way to DI from that too? Dude, I don't know. Like, yeah. uh, I've been I've been watching Mario. Like even in Smash Four, I didn't know when he, how you're supposed to DI that. Like the answer was you just time your air dodge better. Yeah. So that, but, like you air dodge before the last. But hit. after like a certain amount of like rage that Mario has, you literally can't air dodge out of it. Mm. So the solution is not to get hit by it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I can work with that. No. <laughs> <laughs> The solution is play Shulk so you can switch to shield. Yeah, oh, yeah that's right. <laughs> That oh gosh, I hate it when that reverses your controls. Oh yeah. It's so whack. You're like, oh my goodness, where am I going? Oh my gosh. This is looking a little bit tough for class. We've been seeing Prodigy on fire when it comes to his ledge trapping. And that's looking to still be the case even though he's just been chilling this whole time. Ooh. Ah, that's a jump, I think. <laughs> There's no way that was a poke. I refuse to believe yeah, that was that a was poke. Yeah, that was definitely not a poke. He must have poked. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, Prodigy just chased that, that air dodge. He's like, alright, well, you're not going to be able to do anything, so one of these back here should hit you. Well, I'm actually curious. Is this... This definitely isn't the first time that Plato and Prodigy has played this season, right? It's, it's not the first time this season. I don't know off the top of my head their set count overall this season. I do know... Uh, that Prodigy won uh, at the last Gamers over Klaatu. Oh, okay. Um, Klaatu was at Gamers? I thought he was in Berkeley. Or maybe he... he was in Berkeley. Maybe I'm, re I'm remembering from a few weeks ago. Shoot, I might be wrong. <laughs> well, there is three of us. Yeah. And I could definitely look this up. Yeah, do it while uh, Prodigy uses his head, takes that first game with a two-stock. Yeah. <laughs> Just smothered, smothered Klaatu uh, so hard. The, the thing that's impressive is, like, he, a lot of players like get those nerves when they're when they're picked up by a big sponsor, right? Uh -huh. And like Prodigy got picked up by Armada, who also have like they have Myron, Ned, and uh, Bestness, right? Like some really good players, but like he didn't drop off at all. Like he actually came even harder at all the people in NorCal, really like showing his ability to like earn his sponsor. So many other people are flustered in that situation. He wasn't in attendance at the last game. Oh, uh, he wasn't in attendance. It was it was like everybody else that, that Prodigy beat. Okay. Yeah, even like Shaky. So like, uh, that, uh, the funny thing is like Shaky's, uh, if I remember correctly, Shaky's been going to SAC events purely to fight Prodigy to show us all how it's done. But I guess... <laughs> maybe maybe he didn't play him. So okay, maybe he, he didn't lost to an unranked him. player. And so let me see. All right, all right. Possibly legit. So I don't think he played him. Oh, that, that, I think he lost to Saro in winners. Yes. Yeah, that would make sense. But overall, I don't know Shaky and uh, I don't think they fought yet. I'm pretty sure they haven't fought yet in that case. Oh my god! Prodigy just like does not care about like any of these like potential defensive options. He just jumps in and like times his hitboxes at, at weird at weird places. So like the whistle timing doesn't quite work. Or he just jumps over like the F smash and like plants his forward air just right in Klaatu's face. Throwing out cape too, just... Just in <laughs> case you're being disrespectful of some of these forward smashes, you know? Here's something yeah. else to think about. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Kind of read that, that uh, runaway. Yeah, I think he was expecting like Klaatu to panic and like spot dodge or jump or something. Right. It was either that or maybe like a failed pivot up smash. Ooh, that was so <laughs> That smart. is a way to answer the spot that dodge. That is so smart. And the thing that's great is if you're wrong about it, then you, like, you can <laughs> He's take not gonna a force your smash. shield. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Like... Ooh. Wow. Prodigy's going so hard. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to see a reset. He wants to go home, man. He's 14. He's got a curfew. His parents are here. They want him to get home. Two up smashes and a down smash. Oh. Prodigy, don't let him do this to you. I, I think Prodigy uh, is making such a strong case in terms of being like 
top <gasps> two next season. No! I think Prodigy honestly has one of the best advantage states in Norco. Yeah. If not the best. It's, that's kind of gross. Like, it's, I, yeah. you get touched by Mario, you blow up. Like, you just gone. You, you saw that, like, it was like a Twitch clip length where Prodigy three stock legits Pichu yes. with three consecutive ladders. Yes. It's just like, <laughs> yes. It's supposed to be the lightest character. That should be the hardest one to ladder. And like he just did it flawlessly three times. He's thinking about Fortnite right now. <laughs> thinking about flossing when he wins. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. Like complex algorithms going on in Klaatu's brain. He's thinking about Fortnite. Like, okay, that's not that's not fair to, to Prodigy. I think he's actually thinking. Okay, so I've seen his switch. I've seen his hours on that game. Yeah. He'll say his niece plays it. His niece is like 12. And Anise, I doubt it, but... Well, <laughs> I, I don't know. I can believe it. Kids have a lot of time. Well, you know, you can ask his parents. I think it just comes down to Prodigy just being really naturally talented when it comes to video games. Admittedly, he puts in a lot of hard work, practices more than most do, but... Kids got talent. He's really good. He's good, yeah. I don't, uh, let's have the, the talent hard work discussion later. Uh, yeah, or just let it speak for itself in the set. <laughs> I mean... Hold on, both of these guys are both hardworking and talented, so I'm not... I don't think this set proves anything. Oh yeah, you're right. You're talking about Mario and a tuxedo, though? You're talking about two Marios right now. Mm. Yeah. Can't cheer for one. You're right. Ooh. That was slick. Yeah. I, I haven't seen that in a while. Klaatu doing the, the fall through Nair, and then just getting the Thor match right afterwards. Those, those, like, setups aren't even true. They just catch you really off guard. Too. Yeah. And that's the thing is, that's all he wanted. It was off guard. Because then he knew that Prodigy wouldn't be ready with the reflect at that moment. Uh -huh. I feel like it's very... Uh -huh. That's why you're afraid of the reflects. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's very common that you see Claw to uh, be a little slow to start in some of these high-level uh, sets against these top players. But commonly, once he gets a, gets a beat on them, matches can go either way. Oh, yeah. So I expect him to do much better this game three and possibly game four and five than he did in one and two. I mean, he already is doing better than games one and two. Oh, <laughs> if you look at how much damage he has on Prodigy, right? Yeah, yeah. He's not getting three stock. I don't know uh, if you guys, <laughs> like, seen this, but when Prodigy has, like, Pikmin on him and he does a down air, his down air seems to go, like, still really fast. You know how it usually kind of, like, slows down your attacks? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Down air just keeps... Keeps going super fast. I, it has to do with the hit stun modifiers on, uh, not hit stun, hit pause modifiers on different moves because they do have different amounts. And I think Mario's down air specifically has like almost none. Uh, Is okay. hit pause the same thing as hit lag? Uh, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, it should be. Is it, Is it the same thing? Hit stop, hit pause, hit lag. Man, this is this they, is getting out of hand. Well, there's different <laughs> like, it, it's hard because sometimes uh. There'll be patch notes for like fighting games in Japanese and they translate oh, it differently. Yeah. yeah. Hey, they're trying though. I mean. And speaking of trying, Katsu is. Once he tries and gets out of this ledge, yeah, he's in a really good spot. We're seeing a lot of reflectors coming out from Paji, especially after the success of the first one that connected Ooh. in the set. Had that been the sweet spot for that uh, Forest match, it would have been it. There it is. See, really strong adaptation from Platu there. Again, yeah. I, I expect him to keep this momentum moving forward. Yeah? You think he can get the reset? Because right now he's looking really solid. He's, he's really scary to fight. I mean, if you don't take him out immediately, he will learn and he'll adapt. Yeah. It's kind of scary, actually. So. Taking a quick swig of the Hydro Flask. Stay hydrated. Water. That's always the secret. Whenever Speaking I, of hydration, my Sterling's on the other side of the, <laughs> the stream. I can't grab it. Whenever I watch a stream, sometimes out of nowhere the Stay Hydrated box comes out. Oh, yeah. I'm like, what? Like, why do you guys have this? And then they told him, <laughs> was it? Flo told me, like, it's just a random one. <laughs> Someone just, like, randomly comes in with a Stay Hydrated bot. Oh, wow. It's not even, they didn't even choose to have that on there. That's interesting. Yeah. The Hydration bot is actually super useful, though. Like, maybe if you, like, had it all on at all times, right? Man, I kind of wish I was play paying more attention game one and two to see these exact adaptations Klaatu is making. But unfortunately, I was on my phone just believing in the TriCast. <laughs> <laughs> believing but, in the TriCast by not paying it's, attention? Yeah, it's, so hard. it's so easy to go off topic in a TriCast. Exactly. <laughs> it's so, it's so, ah. Just put faith in you guys, but I th feel like we're all kind of like drifting in and out of this set, so it's unfortunate. 
but uh, I like mean, to be fair, the first set was kind of Prodigy running over Klaatu. Yeah, like yeah. it's very hard to see like what Klaatu could have done better when he was just reading Smothered super Ooh. hard. I remember the Smashville set, and I was kind of thinking about like what's how the striking process went down because I feel like Mario really, really likes Smashville, especially against Olimar. Yeah, yeah. But I'm kind of concerned as to why they're on PS2. I think this is Prodigy's one of his favorite stages. The the real answer is you have to pick your poison, right? Where you have two battlefields in this. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta, at this point, Klaus was like, I'll get rid of the two battlefields because I know that's the easiest place for Prodigy to ladder on. He knows that Prodigy loves this stage, but you have slightly better odds here. But Klaus doesn't give a bother. He uh, has a thick lead here. He's got a thick Pikmin with him, too. Nice. A Pikmin, if you will. Good trap right there. Forest smash, charge, and then went immediately for the jab because Prodigy was definitely going to come in hot with that up smash. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. If not, like, his back was facing him. He wasn't going to grab, so Nair is the logical choice in yeah. case he capes. Or oh, not Nair, you, I'm sorry. Or you can parry yeah. back air and just land a purple up smash. Yeah, I like Klaatu's parries. They've been so on point these last few games. His parries have seen him through so many tough sets. Like, it was his parries that let him uh, with a set win against Void's uh, Daisy. That's something that no one else in North Carolina could pull off. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess Prodigy got to switch to P2, but yeah. Man. I would play Olimar if I didn't feel so bad after seeing every Pikmin die. Why do they have to have ghosts, man? Like, Why do you have to be a vegan? Like, yeah, this, right, that's the worst right. thing, because like, you look Come at this on. thing, hey, at Come least on, they're man. vegetables, but then they have souls. <laughs> Come on, we're going there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can see Flo laughing. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> I don't even like carrots, man. Come on. I this is this is actually kind of weird because I know 3XA is a vegan. He he loves Pikmin. Like he loves like the games. Oh, dude, Pikmin's I, actually hype. I can't. Like, it has I, nothing to do with being vegan. Yeah. No, yeah. No. That's why. That's why I'm just like. Uh, right. I, I Pikmin don't really three see was it. whack though. That's all I'm saying. I haven't played it. Good. Keep it that way. Back throw. 152. Wait, what happened? I looked away. He's at 152. Well. Why are we talking about Pikmin? <laughs> because we know that this is going to game five. Oh, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Come on, Prodigy. I don't want. To, I don't want the reset. I'm kind oh of my thirsty. god! <laughs> I'm kind of thirsty. If you can get a ladder right now, oh my now, god, he I'd actually be so happy. Nope. Okay, you, people. Stuffed. The audience is gonna think I'm joking, but I'm actually not. For a moment, that was last hit. <laughs> For a moment, was, with the amount of rage grab. that Prodigy had, that was actually last. We hit. won't call it even, though. That's not fair. Yeah, it wasn't even. It was last hit heavily in all of our favors. Because because there was that. there was like only three different hits that Prodigy could land that would lead to a kill, but then like Klaus who had like ten. Yeah, so it wasn't even at all. But uh, wait, what stage did they pick? Dude, they picked so fast I, that I, I think can they never went back. Yep. Yeah. 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 If they pick fast, I should just assume they're running it back. Uh huh. And Prodigy obviously not wanting to lose on one of his best stages. So take it back. I mean, he doesn't really have a choice, right? This is still the best stages of the ones given to him. Mm -hmm. So he's going to just bring it right back here. The Red Pikmin being kind of useful against the Fireball camp. You see it piercing through, but Klaatu's not really trying to aim it too hard. It's kind of weird to see Prodigy Fireball camp, too. He's not the one that kind of Fireball camp. He just tries to, like, he, he consciously is aware that, like, there are times he needs to slow down the tempo and, like, buy himself times to think. Yeah. So, like, he plays really kind of uncharacteristically in those moments, but then when he decides to go back in, you see like what he was doing while he was camping, because he wasn't actually trying to camp, he just wanted to think of it. I think these are just really subtle like micro adaptments, that, adaptations, adaptments, I don't even, I made up a word, but it's adaptations okay, commentators that, do that. Yes, <laughs> that are being made that we're, we might not be seeing. Wow. But. Yeah. It's true, it's absolutely true. Uh, as the old adage goes, there's a reason they're up there playing and not any of us. Prodigy respecting a lot of uh, Klaatu's options. Was that up smash or Pikmin pluck? Like, I don't even... Uh, it's usually both. Oh, Because yeah. he usually <laughs> plucks the Pikmin and then immediately up smashes with it. Yeah, he, he can act really fast out of Pikmin pluck. Yeah. I, I swear it's like less than 10 frames. It's It uh, comes out frame one, though, no? The yeah. Pikmin pluck? Yeah, yeah, yeah it comes it's, out frame it's one. really fast. That makes sense. What's the ledge trap? Like, Nice dash attack. That angle is so nasty. Yeah. I'm not used to it doing that angle, too. And uh, Prodigy doing exactly what Lathe was talking about during the exact set, right? Just recognizing that there's too much steerability for Klaatu, so just trying to save for the edge guard. Uh -huh. I mean, the ledge trap. 
Oh, oh wow, hitting one of the Pikmin, not gonna kill it though. I wouldn't be surprised if I see Cloud2 actually get a parry on the, one of the back airs and manage to get a kill on uh, Prodigy like that. He did it to in the previous game, right? Yeah. He landed an up smash for it. So and I think I think that's the reason why Prodigy's been consciously not back airing every time he short hops. Yeah. Because he wants Cloud2 to hesitate about when he's allowed to parry. Uh huh. I was just about to mention that we were over two minutes in and we had only we hadn't seen a single stock being taken. Yeah, these guys are uh, playing very conservatively in their advantage. Yeah, the other one uh, wants to really drop this game here. Yeah. Because I mean, either way, both these guys have an hour and a half drive back at least, right? Yeah. Yeah. So like they get they get to think about this set for a while. <laughs> is is Platu back uh, at Sackville? Oh no, he's Ber he's in Berkeley. It's not yeah, that he's bad. in Berkeley, like, right? No, no, he. I drove him down from SAC oh. today. Oh, I'm dumb. So, I'm in that so corner. He's, yeah. he's on spring break? Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay, okay. So, something I don't quite understand is what Prodigy is going for in these ledge guards. Like, he's flooding him away and then just kind of like standing there and just charging flood again. I think uh, his hope is that, like. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, that that was an interesting down air out of shield uh, by by Project uh, by Claude. I can see that catching something. They're like Project just going in uh, I don't the up smash once again. I honestly don't think I've ever seen Claude down air out of shield. Honestly, is that a thing with Alamore? I don't know I what don't you could get out of it. I think so. Like, I can only see it because it comes out so fast, and like you could theoretically hit someone who is running right at your shield, right? Yeah. But it's a weird option. Oh no. Oh. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah. I wonder Prodigy just going hard and catching he's, he's okay, it. He's okay, he's okay, he's okay. Yeah, he's fine. Gets a solid 62%. I wonder if uh, Klaatu does, like, pivot cancel forward smashes. And if he gets, like, extra distance with his Pikmin. Uh, I think he does, yeah. Most characters get some extra distance. Oh, oh that is it. Oof. Just <laughs> like Chris that. Yep. We were just so relaxed, but Prodigy sniffs out the moment for the up tilt up air. Finds himself yeah. the dunk right afterwards, and that's that. Prodigy takes.